welcome back i'm just gonna just get straight into it this is part two of um the career choices environmental science video uh okay so yeah the first part we left off at you know types of institution types of degree you know that sort of that sort of thing so yeah now you're in the institution you're you've registered you're a student so your course I'm going to talk about my sort of thing because that's something I know. So at my university, we had the privilege of choosing our modules as long as we chose in first year from four groups. So in first year, I did geology, zoology, botany and geography. So I chose those. And what's important is the first year modules that you you had to choose you needed to make sure that if you want to major in it in third year you had to choose it in first year and you had to yo, you had to focus on those ones <laughs> because if you fail some of them have prerequisites and you can't do the second year one so yeah that's also another thing prerequisites and passing your core core modules so yeah um the course i liked it because there was theory and um practicals so during lectures you know they explain concepts and all of that and then we'd have pranks that for me was what made the degree more difficult than yeah it, it, that's what made it more difficult because for four afternoons for three hours yeah four afternoons three hours i was doing practicals and they're hectic some of them are chilled, but most of them are hectic, and that took up a lot of time, you know, because had we didn't, if we didn't have those practicals, we'd have more time to do other things. But yeah, but I, I love the practicals because that's where you actually learn. I remember so many things that I learned in my practicals in comparison that, to the things that I learned in lectures. So this course is very practical, and there's also a theory aspect to it. Uh, yeah okay so that's that you've got your course you grind you grind you grind and you graduate now what so you can work either in the public sector or the private sector i currently work in the public sector and i enjoy my job mainly because i I'm doing something that I didn't like in varsity but grew to love now. So I work a lot with GIS and GIS is Geoinformation Systems. So we basically work with maps, um, sort of creating buffers around them, adding information. It's a very broad field and I would, that would be a video on its own if I had to talk about that. And I also deal with conservation, sort of, um, you know, those type of things, game management and i like that you know and i'm working in the public sector again and we also comment on new developments that are going to be built i love that i really really love that but it is obviously i'm not where i want to be yet i want to be um a consultant where i'm the one doing those eis <laughs> that was that was my dream for first, from first year being involved in EIAs, which is environmental impact assessment. So if a company, for example, says, okay, we want to build a mall here, they would approach an, an EIA practitioner and say, can you please do an EIA, an environmental impact assessment? So that is where you look at that land, you look at the vegetation that's there, you look at the wildlife that's there, if there's any, you look at any water uh, sources and you consider what impact that development will have. And then you also consider the impact that the development will have on the surrounding community, whether it is positive or negative, you put it all in there. So that is what you environmental impact assessments do. And then, the, you could also, yeah, okay, yeah, that's that's when you're in the private sector now, like if you're the, the consultant. But you can also be a consultant for government or municipalities where municipality, you could be working 
all the wigs pansy and doing all of those things so yeah it, it varies and then you could also go the research route if you want to be working for you know your sandy where they research maybe what um the impact of plant a is on you know area b you know that's you can also do that but there's a lot you can you can go the zoology route you can go the botany route that is a lot of research involved because you're you're looking at the interactions between the ecosystems between those plants between plants and animals so that's what you look at if you are in the ecology route um and again you can work in the private sector or the public sector so yeah let me just look at my notes <laughs> so, I don't, so i make sure that i'm not diverting okay so yeah i just looked at my notes um yeah as i was saying you can work either in the private sector or the public sector and guys to be honest there are so many careers to choose from so many okay for example you can be sort of like an environmental you can be an environmental lawyer but for that you would have to do um, a law degree not necessarily like a bsc degree because you'd have to have a background in law you can be you can be a marine biologist you could be a gis technician which is sort of what i'm doing you can work in waste management you can work in air quality control there's just so much to do and again that is why i said in the first video it's so important to look at the course outline of the university that you are going to if they if you want to be for example a water quality specialist you would have to go to a university or choose for example chemistry because you cannot be a water quality specialist and not know chemistry and not have done chemistry so it's important to look at the course outline and sort of see okay i want to do this therefore i will use these sort of modules so yeah feel free to ask and you know research if you know, there's more that you would like to know but there are a lot of careers and one thing i love is that it's very diverse so i always thought that environmental scientists worked mainly outside but that's not the case you can be someone in the environmental science field and never leave your office well unless you go do a few field visits here and there you know you can that you can be office based you can be based outside you can be based between outside and the office so it depends oh and if maybe you are that girl that loves to wear heels and you know you can you can do all of that i thought if you're an environmentalist you always have to wear you know your hiking boots and you know your outdoor gear but that is not the case it is very 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 versatile so depending on your personality what you like for example i don't really like the office but right now <laughs> my job is mainly based inside an office but yeah so i'm just showing you that you you can you could get dirty outside or you can be clean inside it's very very versatile and let me look at my notes again <laughs> yeah oh yeah and guys you know a lot of careers are getting replaced um sort of with um with the industrial revolution the chances of environmental science careers getting replaced or you know being out um phased out is the, the percentage is very very low because humans are physically needed you know no software or whatever could replace that and also in the long run a lot of things will have to comply um to environmental regulations which already are there but these will be stricter in the long run and but that's where we come in so i would really you know recommend this field you could be you know people you could be in part of the policy makers you could be part of the people that are implementing i mean making sure that it is being implemented you can be part of monitoring so it's a very diverse field and i would really 
advise everybody you know to go into it if you have the passion for it you know but then i'd also be like uh, i i don't want to oversell it because currently getting your foot in the door meaning getting a career is relatively difficult because it's not difficult but i see a whole lot of my peers looking posting on sites like linkedin looking for jobs you know so right now the job market isn't looking as great but also there are a lot of people that are employed you know so i just also like to point that out that it's not all roses and rainbows and sunshine and la 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 you know getting your foot in the door might be difficult but just go in you know just just go in and do it because it is happening in most careers you know so yeah i think that is it thank you so much for tuning in um yeah don't forget to like subscribe comment ask questions you know thank you so much